We're going to try to step away and look at some creative investment ideas, especially if you're sick of stocks and had enough of bonds. How about investing in the world of art? We're going to find out how to take advantage of double digit returns right after this. Hello there, welcome back. Well, shall we talk a little little bit about art as an investment now? China's appetite for art is certainly growing. The country overtook the United States and Britain to become the top market for contemporary art in 2011 and 2012, according to Art Price. And Sotheby's move into the mainland market by setting up a joint venture with Beijing's Gehua Art Con Company indicates that interest is only rising. Let's talk more with Jonathan Macy, Director of Operations at Art Futures Group, joins us live from Hong Kong. At a time when central banks are printing money, and people think maybe it's really the only the hard assets that can certainly appreciate, especially like property. Um, isn't art in sort of a um, an interesting area where people are a little bit undecided? How do you convince them that art is the place to be? Okay, good morning to you. Yes, I think that uh, more and more people now are looking for asset, alternative asset classes in terms of uh, where to put the money. Uh, I think with the uncertainty, like you rightly said, the uh, financial markets, people are looking at to alternative investments such as art. And we've seen a steady rise over the last five to eight years. Um, my estimation is really for the next 10 to 15 years of good, steady, uh, strong growth. I see. So strong growth. And you're saying there's a breakthrough right now happening in mid-Korea Chinese contemporary art. The issue with Chinese contemporary art is that people don't know how to value it. You just don't know. People are not familiar with the name. So how do we know they're mid-range or how do you uh, value the art pieces? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, we, we, we specialize in mid-career Chinese contemporary art. I mean, this has shown the best, uh, uh, steadiest growth over the last few years, uh, certainly. Um, over the next uh, five years, we're predicting a rise of between 16 and 18 percent um, per annum, which uh, certainly our clients are extremely excited about right now. Um, especially when it comes to uh, mid-range, mid-level art, it's the, it's the bracket that can get squeezed whenever there is a financial crisis of sorts. How do you prevent that from happening? What are some of the smart strategies for those wanting to get into this space? Yeah, also uh, a lot of people ask us this question. I mean, uh, the market really is a, is a hold for two to seven years. Um, we, 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 we do uh, provide an exit strategy for a clientele. Um, however, in the event of something awful happening, like you just said, <laughs> hopefully won't, um, our clients are always rest assured that we can always sell their um, assets quickly. Uh, it's a very liquid market, uh, this market now. And you also note that it's not only uh, this huge appetite for mainland Chinese artists, but also Malaysian as well. Um, can you tell us some ideas, tips, names, which kinds are great investments? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I travel a lot in uh, Southeast Asia, um, spent a lot of time in Malaysia also, uh, spent some time in the National Museum of Art there recently. Yeah, there's some great, uh, great art happening. I think it's still an immature market. I still think the Middle Eastern market could be very strong in, in years to come, but I think they're very, very immature for the investor. Uh, the investors really should be looking at uh, mid-career Chinese art, certainly in this, this region right now. We, we, you know, we're seeing 500 million new buyers <laughs> out there mm. and they're looking for alternatives. And that's what's making it exciting right now. So it's a very bullish market here. Okay, uh, always great to have a beautiful painting on the wall to lighten up your day and also as a great investment as well. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate your thoughts and also your insights on the art industry. Jonathan Macy from Art Futures Group.